What's up everyone? Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4. Today we're going to show you how to get rid of your old and busted and replace it with the new and hotness. Alright, so today we're going to replace a steel cable winch line with a synthetic winch line. Um, and make sure that you do your research if you're looking to do this and make sure that doing this is what you really want to do. There are benefits and drawbacks to running both types of winch cables here. Um, the big one, big benefit for the steel is that it's just more durable. It's going to last a lot longer, you won't have to maintain it as much, but it is less safe and can kill you if it breaks. Synthetic if it breaks, not going to kill you. It may hurt a little, but it's not going to kill you, you still walk away from it. Um, other than that, a lot more maintenance to maintain. Do your research. Alright, so what you want to do since we're going from a steel braided line steel uh, to a synthetic line, the drum here is pretty rough and kind of beat up here. So we want to smooth this out. We're also going to smooth out our fair lead as much as possible. Um, so grab a medium grit sandpaper and what we're going to do is just put this and hold it on the drum as we run the winch. Ultimately, you want to just put a new fair lead on here when you swap out between steel to synthetic. Um, that's going to make your synthetic line last the longest. Um, but we're a little short on time, so we'll be running a couple trips probably, hopefully not need to use the winch. Um, and then once we get back from that trip, the big Baja trip, um, we'll I'll be swapping this out for a new fair lead. All right, so we ran into our first issue here. Um, your synthetic rope here is most likely going to come with the same style that almost every winch out there uses um, but I am lucky enough on this second gen 4Runner that I got have an older style Badlands winch so you can see here it doesn't have a bolt in the side of the drum it's an allen head that goes right through the spool here so you can see the cable goes through this hole and in there so what we're going to do is we're going to take this out. This is a 532nd or a 4 millimeter Allen head. Go ahead and uh, go down to your favorite hardware store. Take that Allen head with you, the 532nd. Find a bolt that is roughly half an inch to three quarters of an inch long. Somewhere right around there. It doesn't need to press in this rope completely. It just needs to be enough to hold it there from coming out when you first um, start wrapping the winch line up because your line on your winch this is not what holds all the pressure of your winch winching. It's those first eight or nine wraps of your line around your winch drum that holds all the pressure. So this just needs to keep it from coming undone if you ever do get slack in there. So finding a good bolt, we're gonna cut this guy off, light it on fire to seal it, and then put it in the hole and hold it in there with the bolt. All right, so we got the rope through um, our hole in the drum. Uh, we ended up having to use some electrical tape and then spun it around to create this kind of draw string that we were able to shove everything through the winch and then pull the rope through. Once we had got the rope through, we burnt the end so it knotted up. That's so not going to come back through. And then we can put our bolt in and that should hold everything there nice and steady. We go now we'll just start wrapping everything up and we'll show you guys how to do that here and once we're in before we putting before we start putting weight on the winch as we reel it in we want to get the first seven to eight wraps on here so just get it in watch your hands and start coming in so yeah you want this over here snug as nice as can be with some tension on the rope to keep it um, tensioned on the drum and then just kind of then just kind of keep going until you have about seven, eight, preferably nine wraps between seven and nine on your drum. And then we can hook it up and start putting some weight on it when we reel the rest in. All right, so after you are anchored to your big, fat, heavy Ford at the other end of the yard, um, now that everything is all set up and done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reel this guy in, but we wanna do it under weight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the engine on and then um, so we can power the winch and you know, the battery, keep the battery nice and full. And then we're gonna kind of hold on the brakes as we let the winch pull the vehicle in. And then while we're doing that, our camera guy over here is gonna make sure that the, the line is spooling properly um, and it's not getting kind of bound up on one side, it is spooling 
properly from left to right, left to right, and over and over. So that's how you have it. I um, hope you guys learned something today about winding up your winch lines. The main trick, and you can do it however you want to do it, is to get tension on the line as you're winching it in and spooling it up on your winch drum. Um, you can do that either by having your car go up a slope, an incline, or by lightly holding on the brakes like we did. Uh, lots of different ways to do it. Uh, you can use a tree to anchor to, light poles to anchor to, other vehicles to anchor to. So yeah, there's lots of different ways to do it. Lots of ways to skin a cat. Hope you guys learned something from this one here. Make sure to hammer down on that subscribe button. And remember, as always, keep crawling.